one of the most common questions I get in my videos and that people message me about is how to stay focused and study for a long period of time. And I think it really comes down to simple tips, nothing crazy, but there's just simple things that once you do them, it could actually help you study for a very long amount of time. So the timestamps for this video are going to be labeled right here. There's a total of six different things that you could do to help you study for a long amount of time without getting bored. Now the first tip, very simple tip, and that is really to get rid of your phone. Your phone is the biggest distraction, especially in this day and age. We're always getting notifications on WhatsApp, iMessage, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, everything. Your phone is just blasting with notifications. And every time a notification comes, you'll glance at it, you'll look and you'll be like, oh, should I open it? Should I not open it? This gets you out of that mindset of whatever you're studying and you know it distracts you and takes away your focus. And this actually causes you either to get bored quicker or to study for less time because you're like, yo, I don't wanna study this and I wanna go look at my notifications. So what I like to do, put your phone on do not disturb, turn off Wi-Fi on your computer if you're not using it to eliminate as many distractions as possible. Now the second tip is to really just figure out what you're studying beforehand. You don't wanna come study, sit down, and then figure out what you're doing because by doing that, that'll waste a lot of time. So what I like to do is split my studying into two different categories. One is focus studying and one is task studying. Now, focus studying is studying where I need to eliminate as many distractions in terms of ambiance, sound, noise, and I need to focus because that either I'm going to be memorizing information, I'm going to be trying to understand something, or it's something that really requires my full attention. Now, task studying is kind of like an assignment, or if you're doing practice questions. Task studying is something that you could do that doesn't necessarily require your full focus. Rather, you're just, you know, completing tasks and getting things done, so it doesn't really need your 100 100% focus. So what I would do first is split up your studying into either focused or task studying and then you can move on to step three. Step three works hand in hand with step two and that is figuring out your environment. If you have you know a lot of tasks that you're doing on that day where you're doing task studying then like I said it doesn't require your full focus. This is where you can go to an environment that's like Starbucks, a coffee shop, maybe a study lounge or a study table with your friends because you're just getting assignments done. This is something that I like to do personally when I'm getting assignments done because I sometimes I don't like staying at home and being all by myself. However, there is a time and place for that to be at home all by yourself or in a library all by yourself. And that's where focus studying comes in. Focus studying, like we said, is where you need full attention because you're either going to be memorizing or understanding information. And again, like I said, you really need to be toned in on the information, eliminating as many distractions as possible, especially in terms of your environment. The fourth tip is getting everything you need before you sit down. When I like to study, I like to have black coffee and I like to have either water or sparkling water. As you guys can see, I have my sparkling water. I also have my regular water massive water bottle two liters just because i don't want to get up i don't want to take time away from my studying so i want to get everything i can before i sit down i even have snacks on my table anything i would need in that time that i'm studying i want to prepare in advance so i eliminate as many reasons i can to get up so that i can stay as focused as possible the next thing is that you want to make sure that you're taking breaks between your studying. A lot of people do the Pomodoro technique where they study for like 20 minutes and then they take a five minute break and they do that for, you know, a long period of time. And this is somewhat effective. However, this is not something that I personally like to do. What I like to do is split up my studying in different tasks. So even if I'm doing focus studying or task studying, I split up my studying into like sections or categories. Once I finish that section, then I will take a break. Be it, let's say, you know, I'm doing focus studying where I'm memorizing something and I have a bunch of chapters. Then maybe after each chapter that I learn and understand and memorize and test myself, then I'll take a break. And the same thing with task studying. Maybe I have multiple assignments that I'm doing. So between each assignment, I'll take a break. Or if it's one major assignment, then I'll split that up in sections and take a break between those sections. Because again, to be able to study for a long period of time, you need to take concurrent breaks at a proper interval over a long period of time, because this will kind of rejuvenate you and give you motivation to continue on and to replenish your focus type of thing. And the final tip is to actually slowly progress to studying long hours. Studying, I'm sure you guys have seen on YouTube, you know, plenty of YouTubers studying, you know, 10 hours straight, eight hours straight, six hours straight, and that is, kind of intimidating you know it's a lot of hours if your attention span isn't very good especially if it's very actually poor like one hour or two hours then you have to start off slow and actually increase the amount of hours that you're studying like I was saying, if your attention span isn't very high, for example, like myself, then you could actually study in blocks. 
blocks, whether that be a two hour block, a three hour block, or a four hour block even. It's gonna be hard to go from, you know, not studying much or not having a specific technique to studying like eight hours, you know, in a row. That's very tough. But if you do have a lot of work, then what you could actually do is use multiple different blocks. Maybe in the morning, you'll study for two hours, take a massive break, like go to the gym, you know, go eat, do something, come back, maybe do another two hours, take another big break, maybe do another two hours. So overall, you study for six hours. Now, eventually with time, you're going to get to a point where you can actually study for like six hours straight rather than splitting up into blocks. Sometimes this is beneficial if you have a big exam coming up and you have a lot of topics to cover. But in most cases, you generally don't need to study that much if you are studying properly, efficiently and studying smart, getting rid of all your distractions, making sure that you have everything before you sit down, ensuring that you understand what you are studying, whether it's focused or task studying and organizing your environment to ensure that you are in the proper area or the proper surroundings to get your work done in terms of focus or task studying. And this will actually help you stay very focused while you are studying. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it. And I think this is something that is very important and applies to a lot of people that are getting work done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was beneficial. Take care and take it easy.